After my last video showing you three amazing waterfalls you can visit in a day within the Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve in Belize, I thought it would be helpful to show you how I managed to explore these waterfalls without a tour guide. You might learn from my scary moments and my success. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Hey, Belize is blessed with a lot of adventure sites and you will do yourself the service if you did not embark on one on your visit. In this video, I am going to try and visit three waterfalls in a day without a tour guide. Is it going to be straightforward? Is it going to be easy? Just learn from my mistakes. Before we move on, I am Mickey and I share my experience of the places that I am working, which at the moment is Belize in Central America. So please subscribe if you are new to my channel to come on my journey of experience. Thank you very much. Before my adventure, I made sure I planned my journey using Google Map by plotting all the three locations that I wanted to go to see the distance and to make sure that it was feasible to visit these three locations in a day. I made sure I had a vehicle fit for the journey, i.e. have four-wheel drive. Also made sure that my fuel, oil and coolants were topped up. Got myself some snack for the journey and off we went. Going off road from the main road, it was nice to see that most of the roads leading to the Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve was either in good condition or under construction. At the entrance of the Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve, you are greeted and booked in by a friendly staff who can also direct you to the place where you are going. Going down this rocky hill wasn't fun, but you wait until I decide to come up. But we finally got to the first waterfall. Yes, uh, we made it to the first fall, thousand foot fall. There was a point on the road that I thought my vehicle wasn't going to make it. But yeah, I have a four wheel drive. That is a must. If you are coming in a vehicle, it needs to be a four wheel drive. So let's see what we can find. You know what this is so beautiful this is the definition of nature is beautiful i've never seen anything as beautiful as this and i'm not over exaggerating this is my first time seeing a site like that look at this view Ladies and gentlemen, this was worth it. I'm happy I made this journey. Um, as I said earlier, it's one of the best things I've seen in my life. And we are now going to the next one called Rio on Pools. It's about an hour away from here. Hopefully my vehicle will get me out of this place. And out of that place, it got me, but not without some hitches. Reducing the tire pressure could have made things easier, but we managed to dig ourselves out. I had an exciting time. I, I nearly got stuck. It was a hilly place and a bit rocky, so I couldn't use the momentum of the speed. So everything was on the engine. So it struggled a bit. I thought I had broken down. But then when driving along, 
I come to this place and it reminds me why I decided to make this journey. This is so beautiful. Look. And that takes us to our next stop, Rio on Pools. Made it to our second waterfall, Rio on Pools. It looks so refreshing. I would love to have a dip, but I want to go to the next point and show you the final one. So, yes, but it looks good. Maybe I'll find time and come here and just chillax and have a picnic one day. So, see you in the next one. Waterfalls called the Big Rock Waterfall. The road on this one was a bit difficult, it was a bit rough, so you definitely need a good vehicle, a bit, a bit of a high vehicle to do this one. So we are trying to find it. There's a bit of a walk. I hope we are on the right track. Your GPS will take you to these places, so trust it. To get to the Big Rock Falls, there's a bit of a steep trek about 10 to 15 minutes. It looks a bit distant at the beginning, but definitely doable. And the sight at the bottom is amazing. It just feels like a giant of a waterfall looking down on you. Guys, um, it's getting a bit dark, so I'm just going to head back. This has been really good and it was worth the trek. So I'll see you at the top. You can see how I'm sweating. There's a bit of a steps going down. Going down is easy, but coming back up is a problem. So if you're not fit, coming back up, you it might be difficult. If you have kids, it can be a bit tricky going up with kids. Um, so yeah. But once you get there, it's amazing. I wish I had time to take a dip. It's so, it looks big. I think it's on par with the first one, the thousand foot fall. Um, just that this one, you can get close to it. And it looks so massive. It's like a giant in front of you. Um, so yeah, it would be nice for you to do this adventure. As I said, you need a good vehicle because the road is a bit rough, but a four wheel drive, Kia Sportage did it. So, so thank you very much for being with me. I hope you enjoy this. If you are new, please subscribe. And thank you very much for the love that you're giving me as well. I really appreciate it. Without you, the channel will not be going. You are my inspiration and you are my motivation. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.